<laughs> Let's head to the NFC North, where I think oh, you know what? Sneaky top three here in terms of like I don't see how you're not picking Dan Campbell and the and the Lions first, considering they retained Ben Johnson and Aaron Glenn, and Matt Lafleur just had to fire his yeah. DC, although he brought Jeff Halfley, the DC head coach. That was a big um, surprise. I didn't see yeah, that. Yeah, pick exactly how you see it is how I'd rank it. There you go. That actually is pretty, that. That's accurate. But I agree with that. I mean, I, so you're saying with Matt LaFleur, even the success that they've had, right, kind of gets washed. And I know we're not talking about players, but Aaron Rodgers not being there anymore. Um, and then to Will's point, right, they, they fired their DC, even though they went to the divisional round. Um, yeah, I, I would, I would, I would rank it how it is too. I think Brian Flores did a hell of a job last year with that. That was that defense the year before. Oh my God. It was abysmal. Like yeah. for what he did for what the, the talent that was on that current roster, he did a hell of a job. Uh, and, yeah, and, I would rank this, it how it is. And those players, the Vikings players talked about how they started to learn the system like five or six weeks in. And that's when that defense really took off. And I think you right. saw that. So, yeah, I mean, I think there's probably a gap, too, between three and four. Like, let's just see what Iberflus and, and that staff can do. But the defense for the Bears much improved. I think Iberflus is an example where you want to be a little patient maybe. See what – Dan Campbell started 0-10-1. And then one and six his first two years, and and look how it paid off. 